the design of the Pearl 82 has come around from a long period of consultation and development. From the outset, we met some resistance from the team. And Ian is always, always challenging us all the time. Every time, every boat we do, well, what if we could do that? What if we could do this? That's what you need when you're trying to create something new. The Pearl 82 incorporates a number of unique features, namely five ensuite guest cabins uh, with a main deck master cabin in a raised pilot house design. We wanted to create a lot of glass so that you really feel that you're on the water. The outside coming into the vessel, the cutout bulwark allows you fantastic views. And then with the balconies in the cockpit, when that's all folded down, you just have uninterrupted views. So it's all about connection with the water and the glazing and the amount of windows connects you on all three decks, really. There's quite a lot, actually, that makes the exterior special. Not only the styling of the boat, but the spaces we've created in the vessel as well. Our full width owner's cabin above that is a lovely sun deck seating area with sun beds and that is accessed directly from the owner's cabin, which is a great feature, especially on a boat, but only 82 foot in length. And then we've got an enormous flybridge. We've got a semi walk around deck from the flybridge to the fore deck, which is another fantastic feature for a boat of this size. And then on the aft deck, we offer this lovely terraced sunbathing area, which again is something with the fold down balconies that has not been seen in the boat of this size before. We created this spectacular aft deck and then we started discussing, well, could we have an alternative? And could we, within the production process, offer two varieties of, of aft deck arrangement? The Riviera configuration is uh, an area where guests can relax and entertain close to the sea. A seamless connection from the aft deck onto the bathing platform and onto the sea. The veranda aft deck layout offers customers the choice of a conventional style dining table on the aft cockpit, but for and aft seating. In addition, we have a garage with a clever utilisation of the space that accommodates not only a PWC, but a tender, sea bobs and other water toys. There's that moment when you arrive on a yacht, the excitement, the sort of anticipation of how you're going to feel. What I wanted was a place that actually could be anywhere. It could be on land, it could be on sea, it could be in New York, it could be in Paris, it could be London, it could be Venezuela, it doesn't matter. And you feel that you're just floating, which is exactly what you are. The saloon on the Pearl 82 is an incredible space. Floor to ceiling, full height glass windows, maximise on the feeling of space and give incredible light. A spectacular lounge area, dining for 10 persons and a focal point of the bar with a galley to port and access to the master cabin to starboard. Crew access around the boat is a consideration on all of our yachts and we always take into account the flow of the guests and the crew around the yacht. So engine room access, galley access, foredeck access, all on the port side of the yacht, allowing guests and crew privacy when on board. The master suite is accessed on the starboard side of the main deck, a spectacular entrance with panoramic views, a feature that was so popular on the Pearl 95, we had to incorporate it into the Pearl 82, with the added benefit of having direct access to a four-peak terrace, a king-size bed, numerous seating and storage areas, plus a luxury bathroom, as you'd expect on an 82-foot Pearl. The bathrooms have got wonderful slates and marbles. We've used beautiful leathers. All of the detailing and the joinery is absolutely intricate and detailed. But the feel of when you're actually on the yacht is quite open plan with these wonderful sort of larger windows so that you feel that you're really out at sea rather than being enclosed inside of a yacht. Below decks is a further four ensuite guest cabins, two twins and two doubles all as beautifully appointed as the master cabin on the main deck and all insulated from the engine room by the crew cabin. The challenge with a modern powerboat is designing a hull as efficient as you can make it 
But notwithstanding that, these boats are big volume, they carry a lot of equipment. So we do a lot of refinement, how the exhaust comes out of the side of the boat, we can optimize that. We can also look at things like spray rail design. There's lots of little details, which is fantastic. They're renowned for being really well performing hull design. We can see that in the latest 72 as well. Performance options on the 82 start at two times 1650 horsepower and go up to two times 2000 horsepower. So you're getting top speeds between 28 and 33 knots. And for an 82 foot boat, that's a fast, performing vessel. Pearl 82 is currently in build with a scheduled launch date in 2024 to further extend the new generation of flyby yachts from Pearl between 60 and 100 feet.